will work out based on certain assumptions and limitations so what are the assumptions that the that you are going to assume to apply the break even analysis let us see one by one first assumption is you must be very clearly uh, identify the fixed cost and the variable cost so to apply this analysis identification of fixed cost and the variable cost is uh, important and this is going to uh, ignore the semi variable cost if there is any semi variable cost that is not going to be included to apply this analysis and the cost and revenues are going to be linear so they are going to be in a straight line flowing from left to right downwards or upwards okay so this uh, uh, when you apply this uh, analysis you are going to assume that the price of the product is constant there should not be any change in the selling price of the product so you keep constant that selling price that assumption is taken here and the volume of sales and volume of production are equal means whatever you are going to produce in your uh, company so all those output finished product is assumed that they are sold sold in the market that is what it is and both are equal volume of sales and the volume of production and there should not be any change in the fixed costs so throughout you apply the um, this analysis you are going to assume that the fixed costs are going to be uh, remained constant till the end of the uh, quantity of output so suppose if you are producing 50000 units so from 0 unit to 50000 units the fixed fixed cost will be uh, same till you apply the this analysis break even analysis and uh, even variable cost also variable cost are going to increase along with uh, volume that means the output but that will be a constant uh, rate of increase will be there constant rate means per unit variable cost if we take if it is 10 rupees at a zero unit sorry at a one unit the same 10 rupees will be there even the output is increasing up to 50000 units okay that uh, that uh, per unit value will not be uh, changed that assumption you are going to keep and uh, uh, assumption is made that technology is constant and there won't be any change in the labor also labor efficiency is not going to be changing and any factors of uh, production that you are going to use all the factors of production price will be constant and the changes in inputs prices uh, Are not, are not going to be applied here. That will be removed if there is increase or decrease. That is not considered here. Till you apply the analysis, till you complete the application of the this analysis. And if there is any multi product firms, their product mix mix will be uh, same. Product mix means for a suppose any company producing A, B, C, D. type of products like itc different types of cigars they are going to produce no uh, for suppose three four products it is having the same product mix will continue till the analysis is applied so product mix here it will be used here for uh, the same machinery will be used for producing different types of products So which we will call it as what product mix. So all those are the assumptions that you are going to make, and coming to the limitations. Anyhow, uh, uh, any analysis will be having limitations also. 
So as we said that the Bayes-Given analysis uh, is applied, everything is constant, no? Like fixed cost, the selling price, all those are assumed to constant. Is it possible that for a long period, in short period, you can make it uh, uh, make the selling price as constant? But uh, when you go for a long period, you cannot uh, assume that it is uh, uh, going to be constant because in practice it will not work out. And this is applicable only in short period. So, because so we need a fixed cost and variable cost separately. So these, both these uh, costs are going to be available. Uh, we are going to identify only in short period. We cannot identify in long period. No? So while discussing about the cost analysis, we have seen that in long run, only variable costs will be existing. Fixed cost will be converted into variable cost. So that is the reason we can say that the, its drawback is that it is applicable for only in short run because we require fixed cost as well as the variable cost to apply this analysis. This is not applicable for long period. So when there is change in any of the costs, variable cost is going to change means automatically there will be change in break even point. If there is a fixed cost are changing, again break even point will change. So that means there will be an effect on break even point. Change in the break even point takes place. If any of these selling price variable costs or fixed costs are going to be changed auto automatically, the break even point also changes. That means minimum sales that you need to uh, have in the market will be changing. When uh, even when a product mix is going to change, there will be change in the break even point. You have to identify again what is the break even point. So in all these situations, as a manager, they need to they require to identify the uh, break even point again. So any slight changes change occurs they require to analyze again what is the break even point so that a disadvantage will be there that limitation is there and when there is more number of products for example 10 20 products are there which a company is producing for each and every product they need to identify the break even point separately see which will be a uh, critical uh, situation to identify fixed cost, to identify variable cost separately for each and every product, and you have to identify the break even point. And it is assumed that uh, all the products produced are sold. No? Is it possible in reality? Is it true? We can't say. Sometimes uh, all the products which produced may be sold. Sometimes it may not. But uh, we assume that everything which we have produced are uh, being sold in the market. By that uh, taking that assumption only, we are uh, finding out the break-even point and we say that this much of profit will be there to the company if this limit of uh, sales is uh, crossed. So that may not be true sometimes. So all these are the limitations which we can say that a break even uh, to apply the break even analysis, a company can come across.